reason why black churches don't teach this is because they don't want to get in the struggle either. They don't want to make it, quote, unquote, racially motivated. People, this has nothing to do with racially oriented. I'm going to say that again. This has nothing to do with being racially oriented. This is biblical. Amen. I'm going to repeat that. This is biblical. Amen. These are biblical people. If they weren't, why are they in the Bible? If, if God didn't want you to see this, then why did he write it? He did it because it has to do with his story. I'm saying, your forefathers, now walk with me, walk with me, don't miss this. Because 98% of everybody out there believes that their root starts in Africa. So they call themselves black African Americans. And really what they should be talking to themselves is they are what? The Hebrews and the Jews of the original temple of the city of David. The Dekete de, 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 de cloth that you find and is, and that most black culture uses as African cloth is the center cloth that was used in Solomon's temple and his mobile moving tabernacle. So where did you get that cloth from? Moses mobile moving tabernacle. How did Moses get it? Because he was married to Zipporah and also an Ethiopian woman and etc. Now do you get the picture? Is this some good stuff? So you must take the people back past Africa, past Africa, past Africa. You've got to get them back to the city of David and show them right here that your forefathers, the Queen of Sheba, was already in the city of David at the time of Solomon when the temple was being built. Oh, I don't know about you, but I can get excited about that. It's good stuff. How many of you get this DVD? Can I get a witness of it? Amen. First Kings 3 1. And Song of Song, chapter 1, verses 5 and 6. I am dark. Some versions say black, but lovely. O daughters of Jerusalem, like the tents of Kedar, like the curtains of Solomon, do not look upon me because I am dark, because the sun has tanned me. So the priesthood, and then I turned to my black culture and I said, what? Your bloodline is priesthood? And, and no one told you that? I mean, like, not even one sermon with the Holy Ghost? Not one time. Everybody's there. I mean, like, it never even crossed their mind, like, I should maybe just mention this. I'm going to ask you a question. Why, out of thousands and thousands of preachers, would not one in the Holy Ghost have the revelation? Could it be that the presence of this thing that happened in Africa maybe still has some influence that you forget your roots and not even be interested in it. So you wonder why you're hated. Because it's what's in your blood. See, you don't know who you are. And God wants to reveal it to you. But even as I'm telling you it, it, no, no offense. Can I just be, can I just be friendly? Even, even as I tell the black culture this, it's like, you know, sh I just, you know, don't bring it up. And so what I do with my big mouth, I bring it up. Why? Why should you be ashamed of your culture? I, just, I don't understand it. It's not in my logic. Well, you have to think about this. Because sometimes we have an internal struggle because God's got a repositioning. But every culture God has, and I'm going to teach you, I'm going to share with you, every culture is in the Bible. Just like this. But the reason we don't bring it up is because we have been brought up in a democracy slash republic and a religion that doesn't want to discuss this because we fear what it will reveal. 
because we're into controlling people instead of releasing people. Come on, everybody. Amen. Amen. Yeah. <sighs>